I like Smash, and I like shiny Pokémon. So why not combine the two? This is my Smash Ultimate DLC-themed Shiny Hunt. For those who don't know, a themed Shiny Hunt is, well, exactly how it sounds. You do one or multiple Shiny Hunts after specific targets that match your theme of choosing. This could be something in-game like Monotype, Eeveelutions, Every Meow Family Member, or something else you enjoy represented through the Pokémon that you see fit. In this case, I chose Smash Ultimate's DLC, since I'm a big fan of the game and I really like its DLC roster. So, I'll be choosing a Pokémon from Scarlet and Violet that I think best represents each fighter in the DLC and going after their shiny. This will mainly be down to appearance and colouring, but sometimes typing will come into play. Now this is going to be a long hunt, and I mean long. So I've split this video up into two parts, Fighter Pass 1 and Fighter Pass 2, which is still in development. So if you're interested in seeing what shinies I get for Fighter Pass 2, stay tuned for that video, or catch me live when I'm shiny hunting on Twitch. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get on to our first Smash Ultimate DLC character. Okay, so I kind of lied about starting with Fighter Pass 1, we're actually starting just before it with Piranha Plant. Now, for being essentially a flower with a big mouth, there was only one Pokémon in the Paldea decks that I thought was appropriate in shape and colour, that being Scovillain. For this, I only had the Shiny Charm to affect my chances. I chose not to use Sparkling Power here just to see how long it'd take for a Shiny to appear from the Charm alone. So, I headed off to the hill in between Dalla Zappa Passage and Zappa Pico, ate a Fire Encounter sandwich, and off I went Shiny Hunting. We're definitely in lag territory now with this Ice Storm. Yeah, some of them are really subtle. I mean, Screamtail is super subtle. Light knows that better than anyone because he... Light got... I, I can't believe this, by the way. On the third time ever Light saw a, a Screamtail, that Screamtail was shiny. The third ever Screamtail he saw was a shiny. I can't believe it. And I've seen it. I've seen that Screamtail. I know it's real. I know he's not making it up. He got really lucky. I'm jealous. I don't even have a single shiny paradox yet. I'm jealous of that, but <laughs> got a shiny scream tail on the third encounter. I know you got uh, the name of the hunt P plant, but why not an image of the Smash DLC? Oh, that's true. Maybe I can put an image of the Smash DLC uh, next to it rather than that. Uh, I might do that for next stream. I'm not going to do that now, but that's a good idea. Oh, there it is! That's so quick! That's so quick! I forgot to save. There it is! I forgot to save. Uh, do I run and save? I quick pull and pray. I quick pull and pray. And we got a critical capture. We get it. We speak it into existence. We got it. We got it! <laughs> Let's go! No phases needed. Talk about lucky. This was only on my second sandwich too, so maybe I really don't need to use sparkling power. Anyway, to add a little more something and theming to this challenge, I decided to give my Scoville a moveset reminiscent of some of Piranha Plant's moves from Smash. For this moveset, I included Razor Leaf to represent the up special Piranha Copter, Crunch to represent the up smash, crouching footstool counter thing, and the down special long stem strike. Fire Fang for its back air, and lastly Bullet Seed to represent the neutral special Patui. Although just imagine uh, that all these mini bullets are just like one singular large bullet instead. Now with Plant out of the way, we can begin Fighter Pass 1. For Joker, I went less about body structure but more on the design of Joker's clothing, specifically the mask and the cloak and the Pokemon that stood out most to me was actually Corvusquire. Now hear me out, I chose this Pokemon because of its shiny, where it has a white mask with red eyes, as well as grey feathers and wings that act like Joker's cloak. I chose Corvusquire over Corvin Knight as I felt Corvin Knight lost that Joker look to it once it gained the metallic armor and no longer had that white mask. 
The best way I thought to get this shiny was actually to look for a Rookity since Corvusquire is the least common Pokemon of its entire family. So I gave myself another encounter boost sandwich and headed to the entrance to the South Providence Area 3 from Mesa Goza. Oh, there it is! That's so quick! There it is, there's the Rookity! That's so quick, we're, we're still on the first sandwich! Rookity! That is ridiculously fast. I, I actually want to get this one in a premiable. I think a premiable. Uh, would look quite nice for Joker. Matches his mask. Oh, we got the critical capture as well. We got we got it. I can't believe it. That's so quick. Got the Joker, baby. I did. I can't believe it. That is actually so quick. So on a scary face, nah. Here we go. I'm for the shiny Corvus Square. The Joker look. There it is. There's our Joker. With the mask. And the cloak. I'm really happy with that. Want to treat it? No. <laughs> Again, no phasing needed for this. Somehow this was even faster, and I got this at the end of my first sandwich. Much like for Villain, I gave Corvus Square some moves to match Joker's moveset. Starting with Swift, for Joker's neutral special gun. Fury attack, for his dagger attacks, such as forward tilt. Drill peck, for that up air of his. And lastly, taunt, to represent Rebel's Guard. Speaking of Rebel's Guard, where would Joker be without Arsene? Despite not being a fighter on its own, Arsene is so crucial and game-changing that it'd be wrong to not give it a shiny on its own. I had to wait before I started this hunt though, as for Arsene I chose the black and red winged Charizard. And after getting Joker I still needed to wait a few days for the 7-star terror event to start. But once that was done, Charizard was now available to be hunted. However, this was only possible through hatching lots and lots of eggs, so with help of my Spanish Ditto and my Flame Body Talonflame, we got the Masuda Method train rolling. But yeah, if you want to see the DLC characters I'll be hunting, uh, if you go to uh, the Smash Brothers website, they have all the DLC characters listed separately from the base game characters. You can see all of them there. I'm going to be going after all of those. This theme is such a bop, by the way. I do be bopping along to it right now. Oh, don't want to run into that. Wait, that's a shiny hoppip! What are you doing here? <laughs> I forgot to save, but that's just a random shiny, uh, just a random shiny hoppip. <laughs> All right, you are not meant to be here. Have you got the critical capture as well? <laughs> Party. Wait, there's a shiny Heracross behind me. That's just a shiny Heracross. What's it doing there? What's it doing there? Wait, 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 
<laughs> Vomits. What is it doing? I saw that. I was just like, wait a minute. That's not normal. Oh my god. That's, uh, it's actually really strong. It's stronger than me, so I... I gotta be careful not to die here. Oh my god, I should have saved. Why didn't I save? I keep forgetting to save in front of these. Pseudo Wudo sprinting. Any shiny? Not yet. Not yet, unfortunately, light. Hopefully, we get one soon. Oh, uh, I was just saying, we're getting close to double over odds. We're about 100, 140 away now. 143. <laughs> Never mind, we're not double over odds. This is it. <laughs> no way. We got it, we got our sin. Ah, oh, finally, let's go. Indeed. Alright. There we go. Oh, our sin wants to evolve. Get this to a Charmeleon first. Oh man, that looks really good in this game. Look how angular its head is! I didn't realize they updated Charmeleon's model as well. That's so much better. Give it one more. Let's give it... I don't need to learn Flamethrower again. Oh, but let's do it anyway. Alright, and then let's give it one more. Are you kidding me? How is that not level 36? <laughs> Alright, let's give you one tiny bit more. There we go. And now we get our Charizard. We get our Arsene. There he is. Look at him. Clean. So my luck caught up to me a little bit. We were about 70% over odds this time on the eggs, but got some good phases in between, so I don't really see this as an issue. But it did take longer than I'd hoped, especially with how quick my first two hunts were. Anyway, on to Arsene's moves. Starting with Air Slash to represent the forward air, Dragon Claw for back air, Fly for the up special Wings of Rebellion, and lastly, Fire Blast for Aegeon. Despite sharing a lot of similar moves to Joker in his base mode, I tried to give Arsene something a little bit different. Now, onto our next DLC character. When I originally started planning for this theme hunt, it was actually for Sword and Shield, but I decided to hold off once I heard Scarlet and Violet got announced. This gave me the opportunity to hunt lots of new Pokémon, but also came with its issue of removing Pokémon that I had previously decided on using, including Hero's original target, Surfetched. Fortunately, one sword using Pokemon remains in this game, and lucky me, it's a new one that also matches the colour scheme of the Luminary, the default appearance of Hero, and that Pokemon is Seraledge. Due to the lack of options, however, I decided only to go for a Pokemon for Luminary, so sorry to disappoint any Erdrick, Solo, or 8 fans out there. Unsure about the best place to find this Pokemon, I took some advice from Absol's video for his hunt for Charcadet, and that being this slope here by the desert. With the addition of a Fire Encounter sandwich, I went off on my hunt for Hero. How much time have we got? 20 minutes still. Not too bad, not too bad. A 
lot of chocolate out here. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Well, that's a shiny dealing. <laughs> I thought I saw something off. I thought, I thought. I'm throwing quick ball at you. And we got the critical capture. I can't believe I noticed that. <laughs> we got a shiny dealing. <laughs> I thought that was a shiny. I knew it. I knew that. Oh my god, that's a shiny Taurus. I knew it. I knew when I saw it. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta catch this. I didn't save. I thought I saw a shiny Taurus. I thought that main was a different color. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Let's catch that in an ultra ball straight away. Probably should have used a quick ball. Yeah, it's going to break out there. I didn't save, so I got to be careful of this. Get it! I will, I will, I will! One. Ah, oh, damn. But yeah, that's a shiny Taurus. You can see what I mean when it's like, it's so subtle compared to everything else. Like, look at it. Look at it compared to the Taurus next to it. Can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? You can't. You can't. Yeah, this is a shiny. Looks the same. But... I look down from above. The main is lighter than the than the actual coat, whereas for the regular Pokemon, the main is darker. Dang no full swipe! I I have full swipe. I can use it. I'm just a little cautious of it doing that. Uh, of rec and you know what? Why did I do that? I gotta be careful of recoil moves because it could kill itself. That's why I wasn't using full swipe. It could kill itself. Okay, let's hope I catch it this time. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Let's catch it. Two. Ah, oh, damn it. If it recoil moves, it's dead. No recoil, please. Please, no recoil. Oh, my God. I'm sweating. I'm sweating now. Oh, man. Let's try and get it in a luxury ball, actually. That'd be nice. Come on. I'm sweating. Yeah, I got it! Whoa. <laughs> okay, we got it. Oh my god, I'm s so I can't believe I noticed that. I got the crit cap. I got the crit cap oh my god. Look how good that looks now. That is a shiny blaze breed Paldean Taurus. Give me your blue eyes, please. Thanks. Well not thanks, you want blue eyes. He did turn around when I asked. Let's check. Yep. Wait a second, that's a... What? Wait a second! What? <laughs> that's a young goose! I literally just got the Taurus! What the hell? <laughs> what is... What? <laughs> There's no way! There is no way! <laughs> I can't believe this. It's not even been 20 minutes. It's not even been 10 minutes. And it's just this... What do you... I can't... Oh my... Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is stupid. Get in a quick ball. <laughs> what is happening today? Like, actually. What is happening today? <laughs> That is two shinies within like 10 minutes. 
That's within 10 minutes. I can't believe that. How much longer do I have for the sandwich? Oh, 48 seconds. <laughs> oh, what do you think, guys? Am I gonna... Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! No way! No way! <laughs> no way! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? There is no way. There is no way. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's, that's three shinies in 10 minutes. Oh, uh, I, I had to stand up from my chair for that one. There is no way. <laughs> There is no way! <laughs> Regular? Ah, oh, I'm being chased down. Being hunted live. Live on air. What about you? Catfish are usually very long boys. Wait! Oh, that's it! That's it! That's the shiny! That's the shiny chalk there! We got it! We actually got it! No, where are you going? Come back! I don't want to talk to the Taurus! No, 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 no! It's standing right there. The Taurus are attacking. I accidentally went to it. Oh my god, we gotta get... That's the shiny! That's it, that's it! That's it! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad I noticed that. That's it. That's the shiny. That's the blue eyes I was telling you about. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Let's try and quick bullet first. Blue eyes, red boy. Yeah. <laughs> let's try and quick bullet. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got that. Ah, we got the critical capture. Trade one of my... Hold on, let me show you. Trade one of my many, many, many auspicious armors. I got a lot of them. Got a lot of auspicious armors, and I traded them for... I traded one for one malicious armor, which will give us Serilage. All right, here we go. There it is. There's our hero. After five really quick phases, we finally have our Luminary, and I'm not upset at all about any of the shinies I phased with. I was actually planning on shiny hunting Blaze Breed, Paldea, and Taurus at some point. Anyways, for Serilege itself, I gave it moves based off Hero's iconic down special, Command Selection. Starting with Sword Stance to represent Oomph and Psych Up, Bitter Blade for Flame Slash, Iron Defense for Kaklang, and lastly, Confuse Ray for Hocus Pocus. Unfortunately, Serilege does not know any one-hit KO moves or self-destructive moves, so Whack, Thwack, and Kamikaze can't really be represented here. Up next, we have a rare treat. Up next, we have a duo, and much like I did for Joker and Arsen, these two characters will be two separate shinies. And again, like with Hero, when I originally planned this hunt, it was in Sword and Shield, and I had some, what I believe were good choices for these two characters. I had Shiny Beware for Banjo, and Shiny Cramorant for Kazooie, but of course neither of them returned in this game, so I had to make do with what I was given. Starting with Banjo, there's a surprising lack of bears in Paldea, and honestly my options were pretty limited. 
I ultimately went with Ursa Ring due to it being a grizzly bear, but mainly because I'm holding out hope that in a future update with home, the game will let me evolve it into a shiny Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna, despite currently not being available, I think would be a good fit as it's the only dark shiny bear Pokemon that we know of that will be coming to the game eventually. The red highlights also remind me a bit of Kazooie sticking herself partly out of Banjo's backpack, and I just have to keep on holding on to that hope that the peat block will return eventually, but until then, I headed to North Providence Area 2. Gimme the bears! No! Yes! No! Game knows what I want, but will not give it to me. It's gonna make me wait like you did with Chalkadet. Well, I didn't have to wait that long for Chalkadet. I just had to go through a lot of other shinies first. And it took about three days. And that wasn't three days straight either. It was like maybe two, uh, two or three hours a day. Three days to get it. Although it doesn't feel like two days ago when I got it. It feels a lot longer than that. Oh, there it is! There it is! We got it! We got the shiny Teddy Elsa! That's Banjo! Oh my god, we got it! Let's go! We got our Banjo! We've got our Banjo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there he is! Uh huh? I can't believe it. Let's try in an S pool. Why not? I can't believe we got it. One. Uh, boo womp. And that does a lot of damage. And it's confused itself. Okay, really glad I did not full swipe it. Because if it confused itself, it would have died. Uh, well, it would die. Is that a critical? Yeah, that is a critical. There we go, we got it. We got our banjo. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. That's it. Shiny Teddy Ursa. No phases needed. No phases needed at all. Alright, let's name this Banjo and Evolve it. There we go. Oh, Banjo's evolving. There we go. This is Banjo for the time being. Until we can get Ursa Luna, this is what Banjo will be. But hopefully, hopefully, we can get Ursa Luna soon. But for now, Banjo! Only two sandwiches needed for this one. Again, getting some really good luck on these shinies. But of course, we're not done with the character just yet, as we still need a Kazooie. And like with Banjo, my options with her were pretty limited, as my ideal choice was Cramorant due to its body and colour. Looking at my new options, I was really torn between two Pokémon for Kazooie, Flamigo and Bombardier. In the end, I chose Flamigo due to it being slightly redder, as well as that fighting type to match her personality. Now, immediately after getting Banjo, I headed to the muddy marshes towards the south. Wait, is that it? That is, that's it! We got the shiny Flamigo already? What? We're only two sandwiches in! I got Banjo, like, not that long ago. It's right there! That's the shiny Flamigo! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I hit the wrong one. I hit the wrong one. This is why I saved. This is why I saved. Alright, where did it go to? It's up there. It's up there. You! Get back here, you! <laughs> nah, no failure! No failure! This is real! That was so quick! 
We got it. We got a Kazooie. Well, we haven't got it yet, actually. I gotta catch it. Let's try regular Pokeball. Let's beat that guy. One, two. Ah. <laughs> acquisition. No one expects the shiny acquisition. Let's try Repeatball. Let's try Repeatball. Repeatball works. Oh yeah, that works. We got a... We got Kazooie. Getting my target shiny first phase every time? I could really get used to this. Anyway, for Banjo and Kazooie's movesets, it was actually quite hard deciding which move should be Banjo's and which one should be Kazooie's. And to be honest, Kazooie does most of the work here anyway. So I've tried to split it as fairly as I can. Starting with Banjo. I gave them Hammer Arm for his forward air, Fury Swipes for a jab, High Horsepower for the side special Wonder Wing, and Rock Tomb to represent neutral special Egg Firing slash Breagle Blaster and down special Rear Egg. For Kazooie, we have Wing Attack for up air, Pounce for the up special Shock Spring Jump, Brave Bird for the aerial version of Wonder Wing, and Peck for the side tilt. And now, time to input a new character. Hey, come on! I didn't really have to think too hard about this one. I had my eyes dead set on the blonde Buster Wolf Lucario. Its shiny matches Terry's hair, and they both fight physically with aura-esque moves as well. It makes sense to me, but I'm aware Lucario is already a fighter in Smash, but to be honest I think they shared too many similarities to pass this one up. I decided to go get it as a Riolu and then evolve it, mainly because, you know, I like Riolu. So, back to the picnic table we go. Something barked at me. How do you know the sun is out in a cave? You don't, so that's the thing. It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> it's, it's still going to be day and night whether you see it or not. That's why you bring a watch with you. To tell the time, but you can't tell if it's light out or not. Wait a second! Hold the phone! That is a shiny Makuhita right there! That's not what we're looking for! That's not what we're looking for, but you know what? We got our flesh hands! We got our flesh hands! <laughs> you know what? I'm catching this in a regular Pokeball. Screw it. Give me that. Wait a second, what is that? Wait a second! That's a shiny Toxel! No, I don't want to set up a picnic. I want to catch that shiny Toxel! I can't believe I saw that. <laughs> okay, we got a shiny Toxel. <laughs> we found the baby. I can't believe that. Oh man. Let's get it straight into a, um, into a quick ball, actually. I don't mind quick ball with the shiny. There we go, GG. <laughs> Thank you. What? You silly baby. Oh, there we go. We got the critical capture. It's amped! <laughs> Everyone loses! Wait a second! That's shiny Neckly! That's a shiny Neckly! We did it! We actually got a shiny! <laughs> oh my god! That's just a shiny Neckly here! I wasn't expecting that! <laughs> Hello! A little mushroom. Hey, we got it. 
doesn't even want to be shiny in its own area. Oh, I did not want to use the camera. I wanted to see how much time I had left. I have three minutes. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ending stream afterwards. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Are, are you serious? No way. No, that's not what I... Oh my... I, I can't believe this. No, let me go to that Pulmo. Let me go to that Pulmo right now. <laughs> no, no, no. You better not get out of there. Oi, get back here, you. Oi. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I literally just got the knack leaf five minutes ago. Oh my god. <laughs> How are none of you Riolu? <laughs> oh, there we go. Critical capture. I actually can't believe that. That's like back to back. In the same spot as well. We went straight into, uh, into Little Salty and... Uh, uh, and poor most. That's what I called it. But yeah. We haven't had any luck today with... Oh, come on. I was just about to say we didn't have any luck today. I was just about to say we did not have any luck today. I was just about to say and I looked to my right. Who do I see? Who do I see? <laughs> Who do I see? What do you mean we haven't had any luck today? What do you mean I haven't had any luck? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't believe this. I actually can't believe this. The Pepingi shiny look. Alright, you're going straight into the Ultra Bulb. I can't believe... If I didn't turn right, I would have missed that. If I didn't turn my eyes to the right, I would have completely missed the shiny. I can't believe it. We finally got it. Phase 5. Tied for the most phases in this themed hunt so far. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can't believe that. Right, I'm just going to keep on chucking Ultra Balls. I'm not even going to false swipe it. <laughs> My strategy works. It does. It's always the last sandwich of the night, isn't it? It's always the last one. Stop countering me, you fool. I'm just throwing balls. I'm not even attacking you. I saved beforehand anyway, so if something goes wrong, then we know. But we're done. Hey, there we go. <laughs> False swipe it. No! I got it. I got it. It's mine. We got our Terry. There it is. There we go. And now, that should be hopefully enough. There, there we go. That's enough. Terry's evolving. There we go. <laughs> we got our Terry Bogard. That took a lot longer than it needed to. This one again took me quite a few phases. And much like my hunt for Charcadet, we got it on phase 5. And most of them actually happened on the same day. Funnily enough, with the Nackley I just caught, this is actually a target for a future hunt in this series. So I've decided already that this Nackley here does not count for that hunt in the future. But if you want to see me hunt the one that does count, you'll have to tune into my Fighter Pass 2 video when that comes out. You know, wink wink, nudge nudge. Anyway, onto Lucario's moves. I've given him Vacuum Wave to represent the neutral special Power Wave, High Jump Kick for his back special Crack Shoot, Force Palm for his forward special Burning Knuckle, and finally, close combat for the super special Buster Wolf. And now, for the last character of Fighter Pass 1. Despite being one of the more controversial DLC choices, Byleth is one of my favorites. I've never played a Fire Emblem game in my life, but this character is just really fun to play as. That being said, I will have a spoiler warning for this character as it may go into spoiler territories. Also, apologies if I get any details wrong, again, I'm not really familiar with the game itself. But when it came to choosing what shiny to represent Byleth with, I came to an issue. I've already used up the Swordfighter Pokémon on Hero, so I needed to be a little more creative with my approach. This is where I decided that my Byleth target would be the Paradox Pokémon Roaring Moon. I chose this because of Byleth's weapons, which are made from the Dragon Slash Goddess, Sothis's Bones. Sothis remains by Byleth's side throughout the game, leading them to have no repercussions in using these weapons. 
and eventually they fuse together towards the end of the game, resulting in Byleth getting greener hair in a similar shade to Roaring Moon Shiny. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too much, but I'm sure you'll let me know if I did. Anyway, fortunately I play on Scarlet, so getting any Ancient Paradox Pokémon isn't as complicated as if I wanted to get a future one. With that said, down we go to Area Zero. I'm looking forward to doing that. I've had a lot of fun making that video. But first I gotta get this shiny. Now this one, this shiny I think I'm gonna phase on the most. Because it shares typings with a lot of other Pokemon that can spawn here. So I'm not gonna get too big of increased odds. Like I, I see a lot more than I would do normally, but I'm also seeing more Zwilus than I would, seeing more Gibble, seeing more Dino, seeing more Gabite. So I gotta be careful of all of those. Oh my god, no way! No way! No f Oh my- That's it! That- No, are you serious? Are you serious? How many minutes in am I? I'm four minutes in- Are you kidding me? That's it, that's it, that's the shiny! <laughs> no way! That's the shiny! <laughs> this is rigged! Oh, it's got a booster energy. I can't believe that. Oh my god. <laughs> right, um, I wasn't expecting this to get... Oh my, I'm actually speechless. I was not expecting to get this so quickly. Oh, yeah, that's the critical capture. We got it. <laughs> there we go. Shiny Roaring Moon. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I was not expecting that so quickly. Four minutes. I I've been playing this game for four minutes today. Roaring Moon has some good comedic timing. This wasn't the first session looking for this shiny, but it still surprised me with how quickly it showed up. I honestly expected it to be my longest hunt, surpassing Hero and Terry. Anyway, for Bile of Smooths, I went with Scale Shot for the neutral special Fail Not, Dragon Claw for the side special Arid Bar, Aerial Ace for the up special Sword of the Creator, and lastly, Brick Break for the down special Amir. And with that is the end of Fighter Pass 1. Overall, this has gone really well. I got my targets a lot quicker than I expected. I collected 18 shinies in total for this fighter pass, with 8 being my targets. And now I can start my hunt for fighter pass 2. Hopefully it'll be as lucky as the first one has been. If you're still here, a massive thanks for sticking around so long. I know this is a very long and very different video to what I've done normally, but I really appreciate your patience and your support on this. If you think you would have done something different to what I've done in this hunt, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Maybe you thought a character would be better represented through a different shiny, or maybe you went into further detail, like with the bull I used to catch the shinies. Or maybe you matched the genders. Maybe you even found an appropriate shiny for the other three missing hero costumes. And more importantly, I hope you enjoyed the video. It took me a lot of time to make and was a big step out of my comfort zone, but I had a lot of fun with it. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on this format and what could be done to make it even better. As I said, Fighter Pass 2 is currently in development, so be sure to stick around for that. And until then, I'll catch you later.